Hi everybody. Uh, today I'm going to give a quick lesson on how to use awk. Um, awk is a very powerful one-line programming language that we can use to manipulate and process various text files. Um, and when you can get really good at it, you can do all kinds of really cool things with it. Um, so first, um, I was just going to get started by going over some of the basics of how to use awk to calculate an average. It's a nice demonstration on how to identify different components of using awk. I won't be talking about using um, awk as a regular expression tool so much in this lesson as more focusing on some of, some of the programming functionality of awk. So, one of the really powerful things about awk is that you can use it to identify specific fields of data. And by fields, I mean the columns in a data file. If we take, it a, take a look at a data file like CTD, we can see that there are all these different fields of data. We have an identifier, a, a data flag identifier. We have some date of collection and time of collection. Um, we have some a flag here. We've got vehicle data, depth, a depth flag right here, temperature, temperature flag, salinity, salinity flag, oxygen, light, sound, etc even Latin longs. So we can see all the different types of information that are in here. We often want to isolate specific parts of a data file. One of the nice things about awk is that this is pretty easy if we use basic awk commands. If we use the awk command, so in this case I'm going to use the print function just to print out the results of my command to the screen. Say I just want to output um, the contents of the first column of data. So in this case, what I'm shooting for is right here. If I execute this command, I should find the first, I should just print the first column of data instead of the entire line of each, the entire line of data. What you'll notice is that instead of the entire line, I did not print just this one section. I actually printed this one section plus this date. And that's because by default, awk works as a space delimited approach. So what you have to do is you have to change this from a space delimited approach to a tab delimited approach. So we do this by using the DAF, sorry, to a comma delimited approach. And we do this by using the dash F argument. If we do that, now we're only putting out the first column. In addition to the first column, I can also use additional notation to output the fourth column and the fifth column. So this would be the sampling ID, the vehicle, and then the depth that the sample was taken at. Say I wanted to calculate the average depth that a sample was taken at. There's a bunch of different things that I'll need to be able to add into this code, but it's quite easy and straightforward to do once you get comfortable with awk. So one of the first things, if we think about how we would calculate an average, is we would sum up all the values in this column and then divide by the number of observations. In order to sum up all the values in each column, we're going to use a couple programming conventions in awk. First, we're going to create a variable called sum. And we'll do this before awk starts to cycle through the lines of the file. Next, we're going to say for each line of the file, sum is going to add itself to the value in the fifth column for depth. In addition to, to adding the fifth column to sum each time, we will also print the value for sum. If we, can, if we do this, I forgot to reset my delimiter to comma. If we do this, we notice that we can get an increasing value for sum 
And if we look at just the first few entries, we can see that it starts at zero and then it slowly increases, adding up the values of column five. The reason why it's zero the first time it adds five to sum is that if we remember this file, there actually is a header there. So this time through, there's no value in the fifth column. So it stays equal to zero. That's great. We can, we can add up the sum. We also have to count the number of observations or the number of lines um, in our file. So to do that, we can create a variable called counter. And we can set that equal to zero. And then in the same way that we increase sum by the value of five for each line and each observation, we can take counter and, increment it and incrementally increase it by one for each line to count each line. If we then output these two values, we can see that now counter is incrementally increasing as well as sum. Of course, averages are calculated by dividing sum by the counter. So in order to accomplish this, we can simply at the end of the, of the awk command, tell awk to output sum divided by counter. If we do so, we will come up with the average depth that sampling was done by the ROV Vatana in this data file. One other thing to note, this value is actually just off by a little bit because we don't want to count the first line. We'll actually set counter to minus, zero, to minus one. That way we can avoid the effect of adding one for this line. So the final, this is the final average for column five. We now can easily change this and we could do it for uh, temperature as well, column seven, and any other column that we wanted to do. We can also clean up our code a little bit using program speak and we can replace this counter plus convention with just a plus equals and the same thing goes for sum. We'll get the same value. So this is how one would utilize the functionality of awk to generate some basic calculations of a data file.